Hi, Patrick here, Have Cheatable View, and it's Tuesday, and if it's Tuesday, it must be a, a library day, and it is, but not as fun as I had hoped. Uh, this week was bag, uh, bag sale week, and uh, I had high hopes that we would be uh, uh, walking in and getting some uh, really good stuff, um, but uh, unfortunately for me, very, very thin today. Um, I had opportunity to fill up on some, uh, I mean, for, you know, sort of bag sales, so you get to fill up a bag full of stuff for $6. And if I had really wanted to, I could have picked up, uh, like maybe eight or nine seasons of South Park and another six seasons of Family Guy, but I'm, I'm not really into that. Uh, I mean, I like watching it on clips and stuff like that, but you know, it's not something I just like, Hey, I feel like I need to watch South Park. Um, and all I would do is just eat up whatever little space I have left. So I did pass those up to our good friend Mark. Uh, and he scooped them up. And uh, at least it's South Park. And uh, congratulations on that. Yeah, I just I just didn't have the room for it. And like I said, I'm, I'm okay with it. But I'm not really an avid collector of it. Uh, but I did get a, I did get a couple upgrades. And I got some other stuff. Not too big of a stack uh, uh, this week. Uh, but there was one thing I did I did get from uh, that I didn't think was going to be there this week. I missed out on it I, I, as I was walking out last week of the, of, the, of the bookstore. I saw it on the shelf and I'm like, oh, I missed that. And unfortunately, I didn't uh, uh, I couldn't pick it up. So, uh, but when I went, went in there today, I was surprised to see that it was still looking back at me. So I did pick it up, and I'll tell you what it is here in a second. Um, just a couple of Blu-rays, real quick. And this, you probably heard me talk about this before. Uh, when you go inside there and they have a library disc cards, um, you know, you have to get what you get when you see it. And I picked up a DVD copy of Wonka in the hopes that, uh, in the hopes that the Blu-ray would be coming afterwards. But you just never, you have to take the DVD. You just can't count on the, on the Blu-ray coming. Well, fortunately for me, the Blu-ray did come. So I picked up a copy of Wonka. So I do have two copies now. So uh, this one has some special features on it and whatnot. So I was happy to see that. And next I got the unrated director's cut of Law Abiding Citizen, which I have I have heard so many things about. I have yet to see this movie. I, this is going to be interesting. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've heard so much about it. And... Uh, it is one of those rare movies where the bad guy wins. Um, yeah, the bad guy wins. Jamie Foxx is a, an attorney, and uh, yeah. Uh, I hear it's a pretty depressing movie, too, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, who doesn't like Gerard Butler? He's pretty good in everything he does. And yes, that includes Gods of Egypt. Fight me if you disagree. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, onward and upward. All right, so we did pick up uh, something really cool, uh, Factory Seal, and we got a copy of John Wayne's, one of his classic movies, probably for a lot of people in his top 10, and that would be Red River. So, so glad. I've been, I've been talking about Westerns a lot the last three weeks. Uh, we talked, we interviewed Corin Nemec, who uh, was in a movie called Place of Bones, which he's co-starring with Tom Hopper and Heather Graham. And then we talked to Alexander Neskai, uh, Mr. Universe three times, by the way. Damn, that guy's that guy's talented, and I just love his heart, man. He's got such a big heart. Joe Cornett, mighty film director Joe Cornett, and the lovely Tatiana uh, uh, Tatiana uh, uh, Neva. Um, so westerns have been coming through here quite a bit. Now we got some movies to back it up. Uh, we got Red River, so I'm looking forward to this very very much. Uh, of course, I've seen it before, but still. I don't have a copy of it in the collection. Uh, I got some animation, and I got some anime. Uh, I picked up three seasons of Hell... Uh, not three seasons. Wow, that would have been awesome. I picked up a uh, three episode... Uh, uh, three episodes of Helsing. So this is like a little compilation right here. Uh, Helsing. Uh, the episodes include uh, Duel, uh, Kill House, and Red Rose Vertigo. Yeah, it looks pretty badass if you ask me. 
next we got uh, uh, also another compilation of Death Note. <clears throat> And this is another compilation here that has four episodes. Um, this one, Helsing had three episodes, and Night uh, Death Note has four. So, pretty good deal for only 25 cents, right? Uh, okay, and this is the centerpiece, because this is the one I was trying to get last week. I didn't get it. I didn't think I, would, I, didn't think I was going to get it. Uh, but uh, I was really fortunate. And it's season one. I have to go see. Uh, I have to see how many seasons there are in it. But I picked up season one of Blood Ties. That's thirteen episodes. I'm not sure. Why do I want to say this is the Canadian? Um, this could be the Canadian, or this could actually be maybe Australian. Australia, maybe. I'm um, looking at the back of it. Blood Ties TV. I'm just seeing if they're... Oh. No, this is probably American. This is probably American. It says, uh... Christina Cox, Dylan Neal, and Kyle Schmid. I just saw that name, too. Smiles, Kyle Schmid. I have no idea. This is called Blood Ties, a crime series. So, of course, we know Christina Cox. She was in Vegas uh, with James Caan and for uh, quite a while. And the last thing I got, um... I picked it up because I got it for a quarter. Yeah, I know his history. I do know his history. I do know his history. So before anybody comes at me and says, Hey, do you know that guy's history? I do. Not saying I agree with it at all. But um, I just wanted to see what was the hullabaloo about. Because I really never watched this guy's movies or his, his TV series. And it was only a quarter. So I bought it for a quarter. And that is the second season of Louie. Second season of Louie uh, that came out on, on 20th Century Fox, uh, came out on FX. Uh, of course, I think it ran until he ran until he self-destructed. I don't know who, I really don't know him that well, Louis C.K. I really don't know him that well. Um, I'm not even sure if he's my cup of tea, but I picked up the TV series because it's there and I got it for a quarter. So, that is it. That's all I got. Um, like I said, I mean... If, I, if you were in the South Park or Family Guy, you would have cleaned up. Um, they also had a really nice, uh, uh, they had a really nice set from the, the old TV, old English series called Sharp with Sean Bean. It looked like to be the entire collection. But, uh, of course, the, the, the library decided to jack the prices high. They're asking 50 bucks for this thing. 50 bucks. No one is walking inside that library going to pay 50 bucks for nothing like that. It's just not going to happen. I mean, when there's things that are appropriate, uh, uh, yeah. But 50 bucks for that, not happening. Just no. Uh, but, of course, I'm sure it won't be there next week, so they can sit there and justify it saying, but it's sold. Yeah, let me see, let me see who bought that. Uh, that's all I got for today. If you're new to the channel... Hit the sub button, uh, leave a comment down below, and uh, we will be back. We will be back at it next uh, next Tuesday. Hopefully, we'll have a little bit better pickings. Um, we do know that the library got at least two or more copies of a Civil War uh, from A twenty four. So hopefully, we'll be seeing that coming down sometime soon. All right, thanks again, and uh, we will talk at you soon. Peace.